You've met the candidates. It's time now to begin the debate, an event that has quite a dramatically different feel than just a few hours ago. Just this morning, as Senator Santorum just noted, we learned he, not Governor Romney, won the Iowa caucuses. There were five podiums on this stage when the sun came up. Four now because of Governor Rick Perry's decision to drop out. And just as Speaker Gingrich surged into contention here in South Carolina, a direct, fresh character attack on the Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I want to start with that this evening. As you know, your ex-wife gave an interview to ABC News and another interview at the Washington Post, and this story has now gone viral on the Internet. In it, she says that you came to her in 1999 at a time when you were having an affair. She says you asked her, sir, to enter into an open marriage. Would you like to take some time to respond to that? No, but I will. I think, I think the destructive, vicious, negative nature of much of the news media makes it harder to govern this country, harder to attract decent people to run for public office, and I am appalled that you would begin a presidential debate on a topic like this. Every person in here knows personal pain. Every person in here has had someone close to them go through painful things. To take an ex-wife and make it two days before the primary, a significant question in a presidential campaign, is as close to despicable as anything I can imagine. My, my two daughters, my two daughters wrote the head of ABC and made the point that it was wrong, that they should pull it, and I am frankly astounded that CNN would take trash like that and use it to open a presidential debate. As you noted, Mr. Speaker, this story did not come from our network. As you also know, it is the subject of conversation on the campaign. I'm not, John, I get your point. I take your point. John, it was repeated by your network. You chose to start the debate with it. Don't try to blame somebody else. You and your staff chose to start this debate with it. Right. Now, right. okay. let me be quite clear. Let me be quite clear. The story is false. Every personal friend I have who knew us in that period says the story was false. We offered several of them to ABC to prove it was false. They weren't interested because they would like to attack any Republican. They're attacking the governor. They're attacking me. I'm sure they'll presently get around to, to the Senator Santorum and Congressman Paul. I am tired of the elite media protecting Barack Obama by attacking the public. <laughs> As I noted at the beginning, we have four podiums on this stage tonight, not five. And when he exited the race this morning, Governor Perry quickly and forcefully endorsed Speaker Gingrich. And in that remark, he said that, no, Mr. Gingrich is not a perfect man. Senator Santorum, he said none of us are. And he said he believes in his Christian faith. It guides him to the value of redemption. Speaker Gingrich doesn't believe this is an issue. Governor Perry says this is not an issue. I just want to start with you, sir, and go down. Do you believe it is? I've answered this question repeatedly throughout the course of this campaign. Um, I am a Christian, too, and I thank God for forgiveness. But, um, you know, these, these are issues of our lives, and what we did in our lives are issues of character for people to consider. But the bottom line is... Um, those are those are things for everyone in this audience to look at and they're going to look at me look at what i've done in my pr private life and personal life unfortunately uh and uh, what i say is that uh, uh, this country is a very forgiving country uh, this co this country understands uh, that we are all fallen and i'm very hopeful that uh, we will be judged by that standard and not by my higher one uh on the ultimate day governor romney John, let's get on to the real issues. That's all I got to say.
I think too often all of us are on the receiving ends of attacks from the media. It's very disturbing because sometimes they're not based on facts and we suffer the consequences. You know, sometimes it reminds me of this uh, idea of getting corporations out of running campaigns. But what about the corporations that run the media? I mean, they're always in charge. <laughs> I think our responsibility uh, is sorting facts and fiction. The people have to sort this out, but I think setting standards are very important, and I'm very proud that my wife of 54 years is with me tonight. All right, as I said at the top of the debate...